Hey y'all, it's Miss Amy, just your friendly neighborhood mom with an iPhone coming to you live in my bathrobe, drinking a mimosa and watching The Intern because it has been a day and a half, you know what I mean? So y'all, today I thought I'd make my episode about self-care because it's one of those things that we all forget so easily, especially us moms, right moms? The past 24 hours have put me through the ringer. And luckily, Tyler's out on one of his hunting trips that he plans around the lunar cycle. And Amblum is planning a welcome back party for her friend Sam Hain, who I've actually never met, but every time I say his name, I was like, it's pronounced Samhain. And I'm like, girl, what happened to the M and the H? And my son Dabney is out with his friends. They're investigating the origin of a mysterious video cassette that they watched last week. So it's just me, mom is off duty, and boy am I glad. Y'all would not believe the day I've had. So first things first, I wake up, my toaster's broke. And not only that, I had just bought a box of toaster strudels, I had to microwave them instead, which I mean, yuck. I go outside to water my hibiscus plants, and this, you know, this is something I mentioned a couple weeks ago. I went to the doctor to treat a bat bite, and they said there'd be no negative side effects, and that it's the fastest they ever saw a wound heal, but I'm not so sure, because this thing keeps happening. I can be outside for, you know, not two minutes, and instantly I get a sunburn. Today, I wasn't even outside for 90 seconds. I got a sunburn. Full, full body sunburn. After that, I get in the Nissan, I drive over to First Methodist Church for Sunday services. I take one step inside, and I'm not kidding y'all, poof, my hair lit on fire. And when I say it lit on fire, I mean it lit on fire. I don't know whether it was a chemical reaction, like the, the fumes from head and shoulder shampoo and dry shampoo coinciding with a static shock, I don't know. And I mean, thank the Lord they just installed a fountain because I dunked my head in that, but lo and behold, my top is soaked. I'm indecent for church. I have to go back home. The phone's already ringing off the hook. I answer it, guess who it is? Dina. I guess that means she's listening to her answering machine now. You know, I had set Dina and my neighbor Dimitri up on a date a couple weeks ago and I never heard how it went. Well, I guess it went pretty well because, y'all, she sounded like a zombie. She was like, oh, I love him. I would follow him into the mists of the nether, you know, whatever that means. Then she turns on the head of a dime and all of a sudden says, yeah, and you know what? I'm not very comfortable with the relationship that you have with Dimitri. I was like, what? She said, he told me that he's been over to your place and that he's drank of your life force. And I was like, girl, he came over. I made him a tortilla pizza. The garlic scalded his mouth. So instead, we just watched The Pacifier starring Vin Diesel. And I guess she didn't like the sounds of that because she says, my master's beckoning. And then she hung up on me. Dina hung up on me. Y'all know I don't like gossip, so please, nobody tell Dina that I told the internet about this. So, yeah, I mean, that's been stressing me out, and, you know, the bills are stacking up, and we've got this old Catholic priest who's been wandering around the perimeter of our house, pointing at me and shouting, I think he's shouting, like, the prophecy, the prophecy, something like that. I've been thinking, like, if I was a different version of myself, I might have allowed all those things, all those negative things to bring me down. But I'm not that version of myself. I'm my own version of myself. And what I do is I take all that negativity and I just offer it up. I'm like a water slide. You, you can try to hold back the flow of positivity, but I'm just gonna wash, I'm just gonna wash it up. Wash it, you know, you can, you can try to hold it back, but you're gonna end up in the pool. And that's not a perfect analogy. But the important thing is I've learned how to recharge and replenish myself. For me, it's having a night in, drinking a Miss Amy Mimosa, which is just Sunny D, Publix brand, lemon lime soda, and Mike's Hard Lemonade. And I, you know, I watched The Intern, which I love so much. And when I finished that, I watched that video cassette that Dabney and his friends watched, even though they were like, don't watch this video. And I was like, is this pornography? And they were like, no, but I checked because I'm a mom. If it was pornography, I think it must have been, I think it's like German expression. It was just a series of kind of troubling black and white images and the climax, as far as I can tell, was just a girl kind of staggering towards the camera. I wasn't too into it, so I just watched The Intern again. The Intern is, I think, the best movie I've ever seen. It stars Emma Hathaway and Robert De Niro Downey Jr. It's bright, it moves quickly, everyone's a good actor, there's no discernible conflict. No, you know what, there is a conflict. The conflict is that Emma Hathaway's character needs to learn 
how to deputize. And I think that's fantastic. But I want to hear from you. You know, sound off in the comments. How do you relax? How do you recharge and replenish? And once you figure out how to be kind to yourself, how to be kind and loving to yourself, you open the door for everyone else to treat you that same way. You know, I forgot to mention the most important part of self-care for me, and that's spending time with y'all. I love each and every one of y'all so much. Your kind comments, your likes, your shares on multiple social media platforms. And I hope I bring you just an inkling of support as well. And I can't wait to see you in seven short days. I'm Miss Amy, just a mom with an iPhone, signing out. <laughs>